Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Nick Jones. I'm the Benjamin T. Rowe Dean of the Whiting School of Engineering, and I'd like to thank you all for joining us here today for the Don P. Giddens uh, Professorial Lecture. Um, we're so pleased today to have Professor Yair Amir speak, and I'm very much looking forward to his presentation. Um, I guess I would always also welcome uh, those who are joining us uh, electronically. Um, I don't know if you can see me, but welcome. Um, <laughs> I guess I can. Um, and I guess we're going to maybe understand why this can happen uh, a little bit later, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so first of all, um, I would like to thank um, the many Johns Hopkins alumni, faculty, staff, um, and special friends who have contributed to the fund that supports the Don B. Kidden Gibbons uh, uh, inaugural professorial lectures. Um, we were very fortunate to have Dean Gibbons as part of the history of the Whiting School. It is appropriate that we celebrate Yair's recent achievement as well as honor the past contributions of Dean Gibbons, especially as all of us at the Whiting School are gearing up for an extended celebration of our centennial anniversary. This event may be one of the first at which I have the opportunity to invite you to join our 18-month celebration of 100 years of Johns Hopkins Engineering. Dean Don Giddens led a tenure at, uh, or had a tenure at the Whiting School of Engineering, which resulted in a significant rise in the Whiting School's prominence on national and international levels. His efforts led to an increase in uh, alumni participation and in promoting the school. Dean Giddens wished to commemorate the achievements of faculty by honoring newly tenured professors through a special event such as today's lecture. lecture. We at the Whiting School also recognize this notable milestone in the careers of each of our new professors and are committed to continuing the tradition by hosting an event to highlight their accomplishments. Thank you again all of those who have participated in celebrating our faculty by contributing to Don's uh, professorial fund. I would now like to introduce another individual. Uh, uh, actually, I should say, I'm going to go off script here for a moment. Uh, I actually saw Don uh, last week at a meeting in, in Washington um, and had a nice conversation with him. And um, it, it was very nice to actually tell him that, indeed, the tradition of uh, uh, celebrating uh, promotion of our faculty to professors um, is continuing at, at Whiting. I think having, having gone for a number of years now, um, it sort of wasn't really on, on his mind, um, but he was uh, very gratified to hear that we, we still uh, have these celebrations. So I'd now like to introduce another individual who's made great contributions to the recent past at Whiting uh, and, and the current uh, and hopefully the future, and one um, uh, and that's uh, our, our own uh, Greg Hager, who's chair of the Whiting School Department of Computer Science. Greg? There it is. Thank you, Nick, and, and thank all of you for, for being here today. It really is great to see a wonderful turnout for an inaugural lecture. Uh, and this is really a day that uh, to my mind is long overdue. Uh, to kind of give you some dates, uh, Yair has been a member of our department since 1995, um, less than 10 years after the founding of the department. He was promoted to associate professor in 2000 uh, and full professor in 2004. I'll point out to you it's 2012. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a little while since that promotion. Um, but Yair really has been a core of our faculty for, for nearly two decades. Uh, he's a systems faculty and he's made innumerable contributions in that area. Um, I don't have a lot of time to cover them all. They gave me five minutes, uh, so if you work it out, it's about 20 seconds a year. Um, but I thought I'd like to uh, at least say a few things about, I think, some of the attributes of Yair and his career that, that stand up to me as chair. Uh, the first, and, and I think this is the obvious in his talk, is his absolute dedication to producing high-impact systems, but systems that are practical, systems that will go out into the real world and they will touch real people. He's really done work, as you will see, that has been transformative uh, in distributed computation uh, and networking. In fact, some of the advances that he's developed over the last couple of decades have probably touched many of you in this room, even though you don't know it. The second thing I wanted to point out about Yair is that he is people person. 
he is absolutely dedicated to the people that he works with. And I'm sure there are students of his in the room, uh, people he's worked with, and they know this to be a fact. But I've seen it certainly not just in, in how he, he does his research, but also how he does his teaching. So when we talk about teaching undergrads and introductory computation, he's just as passionate about working with those students as he is about working with students that are in the, in the cutting edge of, of research and distributed systems. And the last thing I think uh, it's important to talk about uh, is his passion to, to green big and to achieve far-reaching goals. He's not someone who's interested in incremental research. He's interested in changing things. Um, so uh, in preparation for these remarks, I, I sent a few emails out to former chairs just to to get stories, and uh, Jerry Mason, in fact, the founding chair of computer science, sent me a story that I thought was indicative of, of Yair. Um, so apparently, uh, sometime after Yair came here, uh, he uh, somehow ended up in a meeting with Bill Brody. And the, the details of exactly how this happened are a little bit unclear, but uh, they were scheduled to have a meeting about, uh, I guess, uh, what Yair was doing in research. What was supposed to be probably a half an hour meeting to, to kind of get a quick download of information ended up stretching into a two hour long meeting as Yair laid out his vision for what the internet was going to do uh, in the future in, in science and industry and in engineering. Um, later at another meeting, uh, as Jerry tells it, Brody in fact approached him and asked if, if Jerry thought yeah, Yair really felt so strongly about the future role of the internet in engineering that he would bet his academic career on doing research in that area. Well, I think you can all see he made that bet, and I think we can also all see that bet, bet paid off in, in remarkable ways. So I'm really proud and, and honored to have him uh, on our faculty and continue to see his contributions. With that, it's now my pleasure to introduce the next uh, introductory speaker. <laughs> <laughs> You were hoping there, weren't you, guys? <laughs> so uh, I'd like to introduce you your thesis advisor, Professor Danny Dolov. Uh, by way of background, uh, Dr. Dolov is the Berthold Badler Chair in Computer Science at the School of Engineering and Computer Science at the Hebrew University uh, of Jerusalem. He's published more than 200 papers. He's co-author of eight patents, and uh, he supervised more than 60 graduate students during his career, so himself very uh, 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 accomplished in the field. In fact, he is the winner of the 2011 Dijkstra Prize uh, in Distributed Computing, which is the coveted prize uh, in computer science. He's also uh, uh, taken a number of service roles. He's a scientific council member of the European Research Council. He was the chairman of the Committee for Information Technology and Infrastructure in Israel, and also the chairman of the Inter-University Communications Center, which promotes cooperation and assistance uh, in computing and communication across eight universities in Israel. Uh, relevant to our presentation today, he also co-authored with Knesset member Michael Eitan the position document on Israel's readiness uh, for the information era. So in fact, we're conducting our own readiness test today. As you can see, Dr. Dolo will be speaking to us remotely from his uh, location in Israel. Dr. Dolo. Sorry for not being there.
Khan will be able to hear us, of course, uh, but you won't be able to see him, I think. So you can do his stuff. But um, um, <coughs> you'll be able to, to have me. Uh, I want to say one more before, before I start. Uh, why it took uh, so many years? Um, 